Bonjour, I'm in Paris. It is day one of Paris. We just got here, we're in the hotel and it is an absolutely gorgeous hotel. And we actually will have two rooms in this hotel because the one that I really wanted to stay at, which has a balcony that faces the Eiffel Tower, was only available for two nights and we're staying for like four nights, five days, I think. So we're gonna be alternating between two rooms so that we can, you know, get the view of the Eiffel Tower and the terrace and all that stuff. So anyway, we just made it amazing service super nice people i was so scared about people in paris hating americans so far everything's great so we're doing great and i'm just going to show you a little video of the room tour again i will also share the other room once we get that one but that won't be in a couple of days so yeah we'll do that and then we're gonna go find somewhere to have lunch well not find somewhere i already know that i want to go to lavenue and so the concierge is making our reservations and by the way if you don't know this because i learned this this year, I don't know why it took me so long. The concierge is super helpful. They will literally do whatever you need them to do. So they've booked a bunch of reservations for us and made a bunch of stuff. So um, super helpful. Anyway, I will, you know, now start documenting my experience in Paris. We had a great first day yesterday, but we came back really late, so I forgot to do like a little day recap, but we ended up going to the Eiffel Tower at night to see it sparkle and all that stuff. And so they do it every hour for five minutes. So like every hour on the hour for five minutes. And that was super nice, really, really beautiful. We had a great day. We had lunch at Lavenue, which was really good. Um, we actually ran into Ronaldo, the soccer player, or didn't ran into him and he was just like sitting there. Um, but it was super fun, honestly, super nice. Paris is absolutely beautiful. There are a few rats though, I will say that. We saw a few Remy from Ratatouille, but it was really nice overall. So really, really enjoying it. And now it's day two, so we're getting ready to go out, get some croissants, probably some coffee, walk around, and then we have lunch at the Eiffel Tower.
Okay, we are back and I'm already in my PJs because I'm so tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long past few days, these past few weeks. And so definitely very sleepy, but it's been so amazing. Honestly, Paris has been so beautiful beyond anything that I would have ever envisioned. I obviously have always dreamt of coming to the city and people would tell me like, oh, you know, like just so you know, it is dirty and it smells and all this other stuff. So just don't get your hopes up too much. Like you might not like it, but quite frankly, I'm loving it. I you know if i could i would move here tomorrow so definitely worth visiting definitely my favorite city right now so get about what people say and just experience it for yourself because it is definitely worth it really really loving it um today we actually had lunch at the eiffel tower we went to um le jules Verne, which is the restaurant and it's on the second floor technically it's like you know like in paris and one in most of europe i think the ground floor is the ground floor and then you get like the first and second stuff so it's on the second level of the eiffel tower if you look at it like based on the levels that it goes in it's on the second level and the food was amazing it is absolutely delicious every every course was amazing everything was so good so huge huge fans that was honestly amazing and then we did a tour of the eiffel tower so after that we had to come back down and well we were allowed to like go to the second floor like that Paris area whatever they call it I mean you could actually like walk outside and then just like view some of that area and like try out different things and so we were able to explore it and check it out and wow well, the light the light is like insane here but anyway we were able to explore that area and like walk around a little bit and just see it all but we had gotten tickets so we had to go downstairs because we really wanted to go all the way at the top and you can't go there without the tickets like with the restaurant you're able to be on the second floor just like the observatory deck or whatever they call it but then we went all the way downstairs and met up with our tour guide and then we went all the way back up to the second floor she basically told us a lot about the history of the eiffel tower and about paris in general like she would basically we did like a whole 360 around the eiffel tower and every area she would like point at something new and like tell us something new about a piece of history and so that was super fun and then we were allowed to go all the way to the top which was insane honestly it's so high quite frankly like i'm not afraid of heights but even i was like oh my god this is this is a bit much but it was amazing honestly really really worth it if you have the opportunity to do so i would highly recommend going up to the eiffel tower and then we came back and the dinner at plaza Denis. i'll be fully honest i mean the hotel is absolutely gorgeous but the dinner was just okay we did it at la galerie because they have a couple different restaurants inside the hotel and it was good but it wasn't anything insane so again it was good but i I don't know if I would go back to be honest. I would definitely want to stay in that hotel at some point because it is beautiful, although we love our hotel right now. Anyway, um, tomorrow I am going to the Dior Spa, which I'm super excited about. It is the Dior Spa inside the Cheval Blanc, which is a hotel in Paris. And I'm very, very excited about doing a Dior treatment. I'm gonna do a facial with the Dior Prestige skincare line, which I have actually reviewed the Dior Prestige skincare line in my um, other videos. So if you wanna learn more about it, feel free to check that out. But I'm very, very excited about the that facial and so i'm definitely going to document that experience as much as i can i also want to you know unplug a little bit but i for sure will tell you all about it and i'll try to record as much as i can and fill you in but for now i am going to go get ready for bed because i'm a little bit tired we're also switching rooms tomorrow in the hotel because we wanted to have one with the eiffel tower like a view of the eiffel tower but it wasn't available during our entire stay so we're only going to stay there a couple nights because i wanted to still experience it you know even if it was for just a few nights and i couldn't do it for the rest of the stay anyway i will see you tomorrow in that case well it is the next day and it is actually a rainy day we are about to check out of this room so that we can get the other room which i will show you later once we actually get it and then I'm gonna head out to the Place de la Concorde. That's the plan and we're gonna, we wanna go there, but again, it is rainy, so let's see like how bad it is. And then after that, the plan is to like walk towards Cheval Blanc, which is the, the hotel where the Dior spa is, and that's where I'm getting my facial. So anyway, let's get to it.
Okay, we are back at the hotel after a very long day, afternoon, morning, everything. I had that spa. It was the most amazing experience. I ended up not recording anything during the actual facial because, I mean, I was just focused on just being there present in the facial and enjoying that and so it was amazing though by far the best experience that i've ever had when it comes to a facial spa whatever super nice all the products that were used were from the dior prestige skincare line which i love and then she did like a whole you know cleansing my face uh exfoliating with like the dior prestige scrub and then a face mask that actually literally like sat on my face when she took it off you could see like the shape of my face it was insane and then lotion and the serum and the moisturizer and everything and so it was pretty amazing honestly beautiful and the spa was so gorgeous so anyway we did that and then we went shopping around the streets like they had a bunch of different stores so we went to Polen, which i really wanted to go visit that store got a couple purses there and then we visited celine and hermes because i wanted to get a couple things so i'll probably do like a little unboxing later so that you can check out what i bought but right now i just wanted to show you the room since we upgraded and it is insane okay so when you walk in it's actually a suite so it has the couch or like the sofa and then again some macarons and some grapes it has a little coffee station and honestly the best part of this by far and the reason why we wanted to book this room is right here this oh wait wait for it wait for it wait for it there she is and then here we go towards the bathroom this bathroom is so much bigger than the other one it has a bathtub here which looks super nice it's all like marble and then you know the sink and then this massive shower like a rain shower it is amazing and then we go out this way closet and then the bedroom it is honestly so Whole beautiful i'm obsessed with this room if you're able to stay in the san regis i definitely recommend it this is the suite that it's i think it's called the junior suite and this one faces the eiffel tower and then this other side we also have a window here so that is the new suite we're staying here a couple nights and i'm so excited very very excited hopefully we'll have breakfast outside tomorrow hopefully it won't rain so it'll be perfect Okay, it is nighttime now. I'm gonna get ready to go to bed, but I wanted to, you know, recap some stuff because we kind of came back to the hotel, had to get ready to go to dinner and then left right away. We were supposed to have dinner at Lulu, which is outside the Louvre, kind of, yeah. And so it's like difficult to get in. We had made reservations with the concierge and everything. And they said that everything was okay. They even confirmed it this morning with the restaurant and turns out that we get there and they're having like a private event, so they wouldn't let us in. Pretty annoying, but it worked out anyway we came back to the hotel and we just had dinner downstairs which was actually really really good so anyone can come eat dinner at this uh, hotel like at, at, at their restaurant so you don't have to be a guest of the hotel i highly highly recommend it the food was great the service was amazing really really good so big fan it turned out you know okay in the end we were able to eat because we were starving but anyway today was a pretty good day i didn't get to like really fill you in on stuff but i did go to polen and i ended up getting two bags so i have like two massive bags here well the actual purses that i bought are not big but i will actually probably do like a little video reviewing polen and you know like the bags that i got and my experience and everything so you can watch that separately we also stopped by celine and i got a couple things there too and same thing i'll just do like a separate video because i don't want to make this video like a a haul video but i will basically whatever i buy from like in paris i'll probably just do like a separate video just sharing what i bought and my experience and a review of the products and all that kind of stuff i bought a bag and a belt at celine and lastly, I stopped by Hermes and I got a pair of sandals, which I've been wanting for a while. And their packaging is seriously so gorgeous. So same thing, I will also do a separate review for this so that you can watch that once it's posted. I should be posting it 
sometime soon. Um, but anyway, I will be sharing that so that you can take a look, ex like exclusively dedicated videos to what I bought and my reviews and everything. So I'll make sure to share that pretty soon. And tomorrow we have, it is our second to last day, which I'm getting so sad. I don't want to leave, but tomorrow we're planning on going to the shops at the Avenue Montagne, which is actually where we're staying. And that's where they have the Dior like the big Dior store, the original store where they have also like the Galerie Dior, which is basically where you can see the history of Dior. It's, it's like a Dior museum pretty much. And so that's my kind of museum, but we're going to do that. And then we have lunch reservations at Giraffe, which is super popular, also very hard to get in. So the concierge made those reservations. They've already confirmed after what happened at Lulu. They've already confirmed like two times and they were like, we'll call tomorrow and confirm again. But basically we'll do, we'll do that. And then we're hoping to also walk around the Champs-Élysées and go to Galerie Lafayette because I want to go take a look at it. It's supposed to be like a, you know, like a mall, in, but it's very beautiful, like just gorgeous architecture and it has like a rooftop and everything. So I'm very excited to take a look at that. But anyway, that is all for tomorrow. So. I will see you, well, quite literally in like a second, but it will be tomorrow for me. Okay, we are ready to go out now. We had breakfast in the hotel room. The whole plan was to have breakfast outside on the terrace, but it was raining quite a bit this morning when we woke up. So ended up having the breakfast inside and it was supposed to rain until like 12, 30, almost one o'clock. And of course now it stopped and it is like 10, 30, but whatever, it's fine. We're about to head out. We're gonna go visit the Dior gallery, which is next to the Dior store on the 30 Avenue Montaigne, which is like, the main store where they have the atelier and everything and so we're visiting there they have a little bit of the history of dior and everything so we're gonna do that we have lunch at giraffe and then we're gonna walk around the champ Elysees and see what else we find so oh and gallery um lafayette so we're definitely going there but i'm gonna show you the view because it is oh it's bright now so beautiful but hopefully we will enjoy that tomorrow we still have this room one more night before we have to pack up and leave so hopefully we'll enjoy tomorrow and have some breakfast outside but now we are on our way out so see you in a couple seconds We are back at the hotel for a little bit. We just wanted to come back, drop some things off, just freshen up and then go our way. We're gonna try to go to the Champs-Élysées, just walk around there. And then we wanna stop by like a PSG store just to check out some stuff for Chris. And then just, yeah, walk around. And then the afternoon, well, later the afternoon, I guess, go to the Galerie Lafayette then. But I stopped by the Dior store. And I wanted to show the bag that they give you at this store. It's the 30 Avenue Montagne, which is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, by the way, sorry, but it is the like original store, like the store where they have the atelier, everything. And so it is beautiful. And so they give you the bag that is basically like, it has the design of the store and obviously the iconic Dior star. And then everything is just inside <laughs> basically. So. They obviously like pack it up really, really nicely and you know, your traditional Dior packaging. So really, really beautiful stuff. I got some earrings in here. So very excited. I've been wanting these Dior earrings. They're just like gold earrings with pearls, clearly something that I really, really like. And so I got them. I also got a pair of sunglasses. I literally love sunglasses so much and I found a pair that I really, really liked. So I was like, I definitely want to get those. 
And then I got some Dior Beauty products, some skincare and makeup, that's all in here. Anyway, the store was like super nice. Everybody was extremely kind. It was definitely busy. It gets busy very, very quickly. We went there, they had just been, it had opened like 30 minutes before or something. So it was already like packed. Definitely so many people, but I needed to get matched for my foundation and everything because I hadn't, I didn't know what tone I should get or whatever color. And they very kindly assisted me with that. So she put on some makeup, tried it on me and just to make sure that I liked it and I was happy with it. And then after that, I was able to buy it. So really, really nice service, amazing, highly recommended. Then I was able to look at the sunglasses, the earrings, everything, just perfect. After that, we got lunch at Giraffe and that was one of the places where we asked the concierge to make the reservations for us because I wasn't able to find any online. So they got us some reservations. You basically just like walk into this building that is kind of like a, I think there's a library inside or something if I'm not wrong. And you basically just walk in and then you find the restaurant right there and super nice service, super quick. Everything was gorgeous. And I mean, obviously the view is just unbeatable. You have the view of the Eiffel Tower right there. Then we started by the Plaza de Trocadero and just got some photos there and had a nice time and then walked back to the hotel. So that is a little recap of the day so far. Okay, it's the end of the day and if you can tell, we clearly stopped by more places. This was actually Chris. We went to the PSG store, the um, soccer team, and Chris back there <laughs> got, um, got a jersey with... Do you want to show them what you got? Yeah. Chris got a jersey with Mbappe's name, who is a French soccer player. I don't know if you want to... They can't see you. You got it. There you go. <laughs> it's the only place I wanted to go and get something. Was it? I mean, well, yeah, besides so. besides food, besides, besides food, food yeah. I think the only like shop place was PSG. I just think it was the only jersey. The yeah. PSG store, yeah. So he got the um, Kylian Mbappe jersey, and then well, I got a hat because I've been wanting a white hat, and this one says "Ici c'est Paris," which just means like here is Paris. But I just wanted to get a white hat for the longest time, and so I got this one. Not that I'm really a PSG fan, but it's white, so it's cute, and it's a Paris. <laughs> Yeah, and it's hard to, it doesn't say like PSG on there, so. Yeah, it doesn't really, it actually doesn't say PSG anywhere. No. no, it literally doesn't say PSG so anywhere. No one would know. I mean, well, I think if you're a PSG fan, Unless you would know you're a PSG because, fan, yeah. Because yeah. it's like apparently it's a thing like that saying, they say. Yeah. yeah. It, it was all over the store. Yeah, so I guess that that's like something that they say. But if anybody's wondering, I'm a Bayern fan, so PSG is just, it's just no, cool. No, 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 she's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cool. So, anyway, that was PSG. Then we stopped by Pierre May. And this is just the bag. The macarons are literally not even in there. They're right here. We got some macarons. So, a Pierre May, the box says it right here. And the macarons are right in there. I just don't want them to fall, but they're right there. We got 12 macarons. And I'm very, very excited to try them because I've actually never had Pierre May. So, in terms of French macarons, I've had La Durée because we have La Durée in Miami and I think I also had them once in New York. So I've had La Durée a couple of times, which I know they're really good. In my opinion, they're not the best macarons, so I don't know why some people think that they're the best, but they're good. But I wanted to try Pierre May because I'm a huge Gossip Girl fan and Blair Waldorf always talked about Pierre May macarons and that was like her thing. So I was like, I want to know if they're good. And so we got that and then we got a little dessert that we're saving for for tonight after dinner. So we'll have that. And we stopped by Sephora. I actually stopped just because I wanted to see if they had anything Summer Fridays and I wanted to just like, you know, take a look at it and be like, oh my God, look, it's Summer Fridays. But we actually got something from Dior. Totally not intentional, but it just, you know, things happen like that. 
And so I got the Parfum Do, which is my favorite perfume now. I love, love, love this one so much. You can see it right there. No, you can see it right there. This one is, it's actually water-based. That's why it's called Parfum Do. Because it is, it doesn't have alcohol. And so it's really, really nice. It's good for like my skin, which is sensitive skin. I feel like I've mentioned this a million times on my YouTube channel. But I'm just going to show you this because the reason specifically why I got it is because I saw something that they were doing that I was like, I want that right now. We had some technical difficulties. My camera battery died, so I don't remember what I said last time. But anyway, we stopped by Sephora and they had this perfume. And this perfume launched not long ago, actually. I want to say like a couple months ago is when it launched. And I saw a bunch of influencers on Instagram get this, this perfume with their name on it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so jealous. Like this is, you know, there are a lot of times where like I see some stuff from the influencers on Instagram and I'm like, man, I really wish I was one. As somebody who works in influencer marketing, being fully transparent, they can annoy me most of the time. But I do say that their life is pretty nice. Like, I'm not going to lie. Influencers have a very nice life. So um, if you ever want to know the secrets of influencer marketing, just DM me because I'm happy to share as much information as I possibly can or I'm allowed to. But anyway, that is a different topic. However, I saw that they got the perfume with their name on it and I was like, oh, I really, really wish I could do that. Well, guess what? They had somebody doing it and so I got it. There we go, I think now you can see it. So I got the perfume with my name on it. Well, you could engrave whatever you want it, but I got my name on it. So now I have my own perfume, my own Parfum Do from Dior with my name on it. So it is mine and I absolutely love this perfume so much. But here's the best part is when we were leaving, they were packing up the stuff and the guy was the nicest, most uh, giving person ever, giving me a bunch of samples. So I'm very excited to show you that. These are just like two mini samples of the traditional Jador. We got a sample of the Dior Sauvage, which is Chris's favorite cologne at the moment. He loves it. I got it as a mini during one of my Dior beauty purchases. And ever since he was like, I really, really love this. So we got another mini of that one. We also got this one then, and I have not smelled this one yet, so I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but got that at least. Two Dior Forever foundations. These are actually in the shade 2.5N. I wear a 2N, so I feel like I can definitely still use these though because they're not like too far off from my regular foundation color choice. Last thing one that I'm very, very excited about is this Dior Star. It's a Dior Star pin is what it says. And I am extremely excited about it. I have not even opened it yet. And here it is. And it is an actual pin that I can put like in a jacket or clothing or something. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful star. It has a metal back. And then this one is like sewn in a gold tone. It's honestly gorgeous. It actually, I just opened this and it has a little bit of a history of it. And I mean, this one is in French, but it literally has it in like every possible language. So <laughs> there's a bunch of them. So you can definitely read the story. English version says, Le Trois is the, the title here. But it says, in spring 1946, Christian Dior was hesitating between founding his own couture house or remaining a fashion designer when he found a wrought, star, wrought iron star with a hole in the center as he was walking down the street. It was a sign. So he chose the first path, which led to success. The lucky star would remain one of his most cherished cherished keepsakes which he adopted in countless ways throughout his life and this is very true christian dior i've been learning a lot about the history of christian dior because i just really really love his fashion like every, everything's just amazing i love i love the history of the brand and he was very superstitious and so you can actually see that in a lot of designs that he has and things like that if you look at for example some designs on the dior book tote it's actually all like zodiac signs and stars constellations he really believed in just the universe in general giving you signs. And so that was a big one. He also loves the stars everywhere you go. So whenever you buy anything from Dior, you get a star on the bag. I actually showed that earlier when I did my little, showed you my little bag that I got at the Dior store when I bought the Dior Beauty sunglasses and stuff. And all of those bags always come with a star on it. I'm gonna take this one right here as a sign, just like he did. This one is my sign, I don't know what the sign is but this little star is here to give me a sign for something i don't know maybe it is a sign to move to paris <laughs> i think it is a sign to move to paris so yeah maybe maybe it's time for monica in paris season one
Anyway, we are a bit tired and we wanted to enjoy our last night in this room and look at the terrace and everything. So we ordered some room service. We should be getting a pizza sometime soon because we're very much, well, at least I'm cra craving a pizza. And so I really wanted a pizza. So we order room service and hopefully we'll get that very soon. And then we got to start packing up because tomorrow is our last full day in Paris. And genuinely, I have cried like three times today, I think. I cried yesterday. I've been literally crying so much about leaving that yeah if you live in paris and you're watching this you're so lucky and i know that it's always different when you live here because we were talking with the concierge about that and how different it is to live in the city of paris versus just experiencing it as a as a tourist with you know all the time in your hands and everything obviously it's very very different but i still think it is a beautiful city like my favorite part has been just the architecture in general it's so gorgeous everywhere you look is just stunning and I'm very much like an architecture person. I've always loved architecture, interior design, all the kind of stuff. It's it's just my favorite thing. Fashion too, so obviously like I also love seeing that here in Paris, but I love everything about it. If you're like me and it has taken you so many years to finally come to Paris, I am telling you you're in for a treat. So anyway, just waiting for food and hopefully this will be the first of many, many, many vlogs about Paris and other stuff. So talk to you in a little bit good morning everyone it is our last full day in paris so we're gonna go to the louvre we left it for last because we wanted to go earlier but the line was ridiculous so we just asked the concierge to get us some skip the line tickets and now we're on our way we had some room um service for breakfast we went some croissants and stuff and so off we go and to explore the whatever's left of the city Okay, well, it is the night of our last day. I literally just like finished crying because I don't want to leave, but um, super emotional. Anyway, it was absolutely amazing. Loved Paris so much. It was always my dream to come here. I didn't think that I would like it as much as I did. Like I honestly was expecting to just be okay, but I really, really, really loved it. And I cannot wait to come back already and I haven't even left yet. <laughs> but 
couple of things that I wanted to share. So obviously today ended up being like super unplanned and it was super fun. We were just walking around. We were gonna go to the, or we went to the Alexander III Bridge and then we just started walking towards the Eiffel Tower. We saw a boulangerie, so we got a baguette and then we found a cheese store. So we stopped by for some cheese and then we were like, well, let's just go to the Eiffel Tower and eat something over there. And so we got cheese and then we got, I got an orange juice and an apple juice, right? Chris got an apple juice it was really good so we literally just like sat in by the Eiffel Tower and or in front of the Eiffel Tower and we just ate there it was amazing everybody was there too everybody was like eating out there and enjoying the weather both tourists and locals because you could hear the people speaking in French and then obviously like tourists we stayed there until it like lit up for the first time and started sparkling which was at seven o'clock till 705 and then we just walked back to the hotel to pack up so we can leave tomorrow I don't know if I mentioned throughout the vlog, but if I didn't, we stayed at the San Regis Hotel. It is on the Avenue Montagne, which is like the, um, where, where like a lot of shops are. And so it's a really, really nice area. Highly recommend this. This place has been amazing. It is a small hotel. I think it's considered like a boutique hotel, but it is honestly absolutely amazing. Could not recommend it anymore. The concierge was amazing. The service in general was amazing. The food was great. Everything was fantastic. So really, really recommend it. And then other things that I wanted to share, basically like from my experience in Paris, and again, this is just my experience. So obviously like it will vary per person, but just based on the things that I heard, people had told me like, oh, you know, people like you'll find people smoking everywhere you go. People are not very nice. Paris really smells. There's a lot of rats, like a lot of pick pickpocketing. Um, and then, I don't know what else people had told me. I feel like those were kind of like the basics. Some people were like basically just warning me like, hey, you might not like it as much as you think that you will like it or as much as you like it right now, like before coming here. So based on my experience, again, I could be, it could just be like what I lived. It could be something completely different for somebody else. But do people smoke a lot? Yes, they do. But I actually felt like they smoked more in Madrid than in Paris. Like at least where we were in Madrid versus in Paris. I was constantly complaining in Madrid about people smoking, whereas in Paris, I feel like I had, you know, a couple people here and there that I was like, oh my God, please stop smoking. But other than that, it wasn't like anything insane. Everywhere we ate, I mean, we did eat indoors in a few restaurants, but even when we ate outdoors, I don't think when we were eating, we actually had people smoking by us. Also, I mean, we did go to some restaurants that, I mean, I, I can't say that everything was touristy because there were a lot of French people where we went, but there were a few restaurants that were more touristy. So maybe also because like tourists probably don't smoke as much. But even when we were walking down the street, I mean, there were people smoking, but it was nothing insane. So again, my experience is people in Spain were smoking more than in Paris. Does it smell? Certain areas in Paris do smell, yes. I've heard that the metro really smells. We, d smells. we didn't take the metro, so I can't really speak about that, but on the street, like there are certain streets that smell a little bit more than others. I wouldn't say all of Paris smells, but there are streets that do smell. Pickpocketing, we were very fortunate that nothing happened and also we were very aware of it. So anywhere we went, you know, all our stuff were just like nearby, front pockets, my purse was always with me. Like it was, it was definitely like, you know, we were being very safe. Um, yes, there are rats. We've seen quite a few rats since we were here. <laughs> the first time, <laughs> the first time that we saw a rat, I thought it was a squirrel. It was, I mean, it was dark at night and we were just like walking and I saw something like hop and I was like, oh my God, it's a squirrel, like a squirrel in Paris. And then Chris goes like, that does not look like a squirrel. And I look at it a little bit closer and like the tail is very thin. And I was like, that is most definitely a rat. So I was like, you know what? It's just Remy from Ratatouille. That's, that's all that it is. The first, I want to say like the first day that we were here, we saw three rats, but that was the only time actually. And we were here for almost five days. So, I mean, only three rats is pretty pretty decent, you know, in just one day. So it's not like you're gonna find rats everywhere you go, first but day. yeah, the first day, they were welcoming us. But other than that, I mean, we didn't really see any more rats besides that. So yes, there are rats, but no, you're not gonna find them everywhere you go, definitely. And then were people rude? Not at all. Like every single person that we met was super nice, very friendly. Everybody spoke English to us. I mean, I did try to make the effort to speak in French as much as I could. I'm not fluent in French. So, you know, I can only get by with a few things and depending on what they answer back, I can either respond back in French or I have to be like, sorry, do you speak in English? So for example, we did go to the two bakers that we went to where I spoke fully in French. I ordered the croissants and the coffees and then the baguette and the croissants 
and did everything in French. So the the boulangeries I can get I can get around. I can definitely deal with my my boulangerie. So that part I'm totally fine with. For some food, we were able to like get around some stuff and some directions. Like if I needed to find out where the toilets, like the bathrooms were and all that stuff, I can definitely do that. But in general, we did have to speak English for the most part, and people were super nice about it. Nobody was rude. Nobody made any sort of reference about Americans or anything like that. Like people have said in the past. So I don't know. I think to be completely honest, obviously like this is my experience, but I think that if you try to make an effort to speak in French they obviously appreciate that because even though you don't speak the language like at least you're trying to respect their culture and their language and so I feel like one that helps and two just in general be a nice person you know just like talk to them nicely ask them questions speak slow if you can try to understand like if they say something in French and you know you're trying to like translate and everything just be a nice person and I feel like that applies for everything not just when you're in a foreign country just be nice so I think that that was actually just pretty good but honestly people were nice it didn't smell that bad only certain areas saw rats only the first day and people spoke but it wasn't anything insane driving is absolutely oh insane God. i've always complained about the driving in miami because the driving in miami is absolutely crazy like i don't know if you've ever driven to miami but it is absolutely insane people don't know how to drive i feel like in paris people i don't know if it's a, no actually i feel like in paris they do know how to drive they just drive like insane like they, f they don't have the fear like that anything's gonna happen like they're just fully fearless and they get like this close to each other i'm like you're gonna hit your car it's like they don't care so it is absolutely insane we took a lime scooter once i felt like i was gonna die the entire time i was terrified oh my god it was insane but um it's just part of the experience however i will say you know we took a few ubers and every time we were like oh my god we're just gonna like hit the car in front of us we're gonna hit us like on the side like whatever honestly like you can walk around paris so easily that we only took ubers whenever you know like the drive was like 30 minutes or so obviously the walk was going to be over an hour so then we would just take an uber but if it was something that was just like a 15 20 even 30 minute walk we've we did all that by foot so we walked a lot a lot a lot a lot my feet are definitely in pain i'm going to be resting up for quite a while <laughs> but um it was honestly amazing what i do love about when you walk around paris is that you see all these beautiful buildings architecture everything the sculptures everything is just gorgeous so you see so many things that you would miss if you were just driving or even taking the metro so highly recommend if you can to just walk around paris and and try to you know test that out it is get very comfy shoes my vehicles were actually really really comfy shoes so highly recommend those and yeah i would say that was pretty much my experience of paris or our experience of paris anything else we should add anything that you think i'm missing there's chris by the way um croissants are the bomb yes i had a lot of those coffee is delicious i'm oh, a yeah. coffee fanatic uh the wine is delicious too it is really good what else did we like here man um there's sweets and pastries oh yeah those are really good. 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 <laughs> good. And then, oh, the macarons. Yeah, the macarons. We, we do still macarons. have a couple left somewhere. Oh, those we are have, good. Yeah, the macarons are really good. Um, the best ones I personally had. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we did stop, now that I'm seeing it here, we did stop by the tea store, and I got my favorite tea. Oh, so yeah. this is my favorite tea brand, and I actually discovered them last year when I got their advent calendar because I love tea. And we stopped by, completely by accident, we found this store that they had one. And I got this one. It is the all their Christmas collection from the past few years up until like 2014 through 2022. So very, very excited about those. I got these ones. And I also got this box. It is a special edition for the Louvre. So very, very excited. I love tea. Oh, and they also gifted us this jam. They had it. I don't know if it was like a... I don't even know if they had like an offer or something, but I don't know. I just know that when we um, pear or peach. There it is. So yes, it is pear. Anyway, I love this brand of tea. If you find it anywhere, highly recommend it. If you love tea, get it. Oh, and one final thing, I guess that you know, I mean, we were kind of expecting, but I guess after how cheap Madrid was, we were a little bit like, oh my god, pears are expensive. Pears is expensive. Like it definitely is very expensive. The food is expensive. The alcohol is expensive. Like compared to Madrid, for example, it is very expensive. So with yeah, almost double. double. No, so double, double if not more. Double. Yeah, so if you're doing like Madrid and Paris together, just know that you're going to be paying more than double <laughs> in Paris than you are in Madrid. Uh, my only experience in Europe has been, well, before Paris was Poland and Madrid in both countries were, or like cities, I would say, were very, very cheap or like very affordable. So coming to Paris was like 
just more aligned with our life in Miami, I would say, in terms of the cost. So definitely expensive, but I mean, the food was really good, so worth it. Except for Plaza Athene, that the food there was the sandwich and the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was just yeah. average. Honestly, it was oh, average, yeah. and for what we paid, it was just average. So, okay, that was a lot of explanations about Paris and things like that. I gotta finish packing because we have an early flight to Poland. We're going to Krakow to visit some family and just enjoy and explore poland a little bit good times. so i'll have a little bit of a, a vlog for poland as well might not be as detailed as paris or madrid because we're just going to be spending mostly time just with family and, and chilling so nothing too too crazy but i will show as much as i can about poland because it is also a beautiful beautiful country anyway that is all if you've been to paris if you have any questions about paris if there's anything you want to share just leave that in the comment section i hope you liked this video though and i hope that you found it very helpful and if you did please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time